Hello friends, welcome to Pentaho Data Integration Tutorial 3. In today's session, we will cover how to create transformation with the help of two scenarios. So we will be creating a transformation which will load your CSV input data file into a dummy target. So this is our scenario. We will take one customer flat file and we will try to load that into a dummy target table. So in this scenario, use the CSV input data file and load data into a target dummy. And in second scenario, we'll read same CSV input data file. Then we'll try to filter out few records using filter step. And then we'll load that into a target dummy table. Before that, this is our CSV input data file for customers which is having columns as ID, name, salary, and city. So in first scenario, we try to load all these records into dummy. In second scenario, we'll try to filter out few records and then we'll see how the target will be loaded. So this is Pentaho's phone. So to create a new transformation, you need to go to file, create a new transformation, the transformation window will open, go to input step, select CSV file input, as our scenario is to read input file, so we need to take this CSV file input, drag it to design space. Then you need to double click on CSV file input. It will open the properties. In these properties, you can see the step name, file name, delimiters, enclosures. So we'll go one by one. In step name, you need to provide what is the name of your step. Like in this scenario, we're reading customer data. The next is absolute path of your input file. You can do that using this browse, select your input source file, open. The next is you need to provide delimiter. The delimiter is semicolon. Enclosure. We have the header row present, so we need to check this box. So add file name to result. If you check on this box, it will add file name to a target result. So the next thing after selecting a delimiter, you need to, so the next thing is to click on get fields. It will ask, it will give a pop-up where you can give a number of lines you want to see in the sample result. So we'll provide hundred. Okay. It will scan your input source file it will identify the data type name of your columns and data click on close you can see all the four columns id name salary city with their data types if you want to change the length of your columns you want to change the data type you can change it here using drop down also, there is one facility provided by CSV input step. If you want to trim your columns while reading from source itself, you can select trim type left, right, or both. For all the format, you can select this. If you want to preview data in your source file, you can click on preview. Here, you can see your source file data, id, name, salary, city, all the clues. click on ok. So now your customer CSV input data file step is ready to page data. So next thing, we'll try to load this into a dummy file. So for that, so next thing is to load this customer file. 
So next thing is to load your customer file into a dummy target. So for this scenario, I am taking this dummy. So dummy is nothing but as name says do nothing. This is just a placeholder and this will act as a dummy target for your transformation. Now you need to link this customer step to a dummy for that just go to customer select link towards dummy main out step you are done so, so your transformation is ready just save this using control s you need to choose a location where you want to save this. Give a name to your transformation. And by default, the file type for this transformation will be Kettle transformation. So the file name will be saved as demo1.ktr. So we are done here. The next step once you are done with your transformation, just click on this run this transformation for a job. It will open an execution window. Here you can choose options like you want to execute this on local machine, execute remotely, or execute on a cluster. Also, you can specify a log level, minimum logging, basic logging, detail log, row level log. So you are We also have parameters and variables which we can define. We will see these parameters and variables in our next tutorial. For now, we will just launch this. Okay, you can see the execution result here where you can see the execution history. Logging. So you can see boom, the transformation has finished. It will show how many rows it has processed. So seven inputs it has written six records of target. So in this way it will show you the log. Next is step metric. You can see seven rows as an input, six written, time speed and throughput, and in a little. In a preview data window, you can see actual data. Just click on the step for which you want to see a data. It will show you the data like customer input file. You are having these many rows, total six. And in the target, you can see all the six rows are getting loaded. So this is how your scenario one is completed. This is a very basic transformation which we learned today. How to read an CSV input file. Now we'll just try to filter out few records from this customer file. For that, we'll go to flow step. Then we'll select this filter rows, drag and drop. Just keep it. On the link, it will ask you if you want to split the hop. You are done. This linking has been done. So, in a filter step, you need to give a filter condition. So, in a step name, you can give a name like filter cell. So based on salary, you want to filter some records. 
So this is condition tab where you can select condition. So in a field, you need to select source field, select source field on which you want to add a filter condition. So in this scenario, I want to add a filter condition on salary. So select salary. So salary greater than. So you can see you will be having all the functions greater than, less than, equal to. So we'll go with greater than. Okay. So now in this scenario, I want to filter my data based on salary greater than value. So I need to provide some value. I'll put 300 data type is integer so the condition condition is like salary greater than 300 so all the records for salary is greater than 300 those will be loaded into a target table. okay if any of the scenarios you want to compare your source field with any target field you can select Also, you can add one more condition if you want. If you want to do a condition and or or, you can select and or or not. All these options are there. So these two conditions will be added there. One of will add only one condition. Now we'll just execute this transformation. Launch. It will ask if you want to save the transformation before you can run it. We'll save this one. You can see the transformation has successfully executed. This is source data. Target if you see. Only two records are there. Two salaries, 400 and 500. So the records 1, 2 and 3, these got filtered out as we have condition salary greater than 300, only ID 4 and 5 got loaded into target name. So this is how you can read CSV input file and load into the dummy target table with the help of filter condition. You can change the delimiter types if you want. Thanks for watching this tutorial. In our next tutorial, we'll be covering few more scenarios with the help of new steps. Thank you.